Just assalamu alaikum and welcome back to Ninja Muhammad. Check it out what I have in my hands. Uh, we're gonna test the Samsung S21 Ultra Exynos 2100 series. It's gonna be very interesting with the Mali GPU. Are you ready for this one? It's gonna be very interesting. So, guys, believe it or not, I'll be immediately testing it on 2x resolution. If I see that the game is laggy, then I'm gonna exit and drop it to 1x resolution. Let's play Dragon Ball Z Battle of Z. Let's go, guys. We are in, we are in. <laughs> guys this is the first time in my life since i started making emulation videos from 2015 what man that's more than seven years seeing a mali gpu phone running better than snapdragon phone on a new emulator on an emulator usually obviously guys most of the emulators are running better on a snapdragon but vita 3k is a different story guys uh, which is something which is completely new in the gaming world, bro. I think that most of you will agree with me. Everybody was, whoever like well, would say, see a Samsung Mali GPU version, Mali X, uh, Exynos version of the Samsung, they're gonna just say, no, 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 take it away from me. They won't have a Snapdragon one. So here you go, I just proved you that, check it out, please just check it out what kind of performance you get here with the Exynos 2100. Epic, seriously epic. Let's go to the fighting. I might even test on the end higher resolution. We have some stutters, which is fine. It's probably shade is compiling. Unbelievable performance. Unbelievable performance, bro. Anyway, you know what? I'm gonna do it immediately, guys. I'm gonna do it immediately. Let's go now here to 3x, maybe even 4x. I'm gonna test 4x, reboot the game. And uh, yeah, this is 4x resolution. And I test 4x resolution with uh, Gen 2. There you go. We are back, guys. Running this game at 4x resolution. Shocking. Shocking, shocking, shocking. That is insane, man. I don't know how this is possible. I'm gonna exit again, rerun again this emulator. I don't know how this is. That's unbelievable. <laughs> Game launcher with the 3K. Enter here, configuration, GPU, 4X resolution, guys. 4X resolution, this is. Let's exit and rerun it again. There you go, we are back, guys. Yes, I just want to recheck myself because uh, this is an unbelievable performance by the Exynos 7100 bro unbelievable performance so far I'm seeing it's running better than the Snapdragon Agent 2 a two year old Exynos chip man two and a half year old Exynos chip I don't know how this is possible never ever I saw something like this in emulation in the world bro that an Exynos chip is better than a Snapdragon never ever ever I mean, guys, that's not the reason right now to buy this uh, chip over the Snapdragon uh, Gen 2, of course. In all the 95% cases in gaming and all the emulators, Gen 2 is still <laughs> three, two, three times more powerful than the, this Exynos chip. Anyway, let's go with the next game. This is very impressive. Very, very, very impressive indeed. Uh, let's go to Mortal Kombat. Okay, guys, we are back testing Mortal Kombat 9 at 4x resolution let's go amazing guys i don't know why i'm speechless i'm completely speechless there's no crash. 
the game so far didn't crash. They, we have this kind of bigger stutters, but that's because probably of the shaders. Whoa, what a nice, what a nice win. It was a very nice win. to show you that this is running on I don't know how this is possible bro 4x resolution which is what the heck around 3.5k I think so or 4k I don't know what kind of resolution is this is this 4x uh, come on man come on come on okay we're gonna go over the next game that is the uh, Street Fighter X Tekken let's go on 4x Okay guys, what I noticed, which is big, big difference in this selection of the uniform and handicap, uh, Snapdragon here lags drastically lags, while the Exynos here right now is running with some small glitches, but it's running full speed. Big, big difference. I don't know, the, the Vita 3K devs basically optimize more, it just makes, just looks like they optimized more this simulator for Mali GPUs. I don't know why, just the Mali GPUs are, it seems, of running better than the Adreno GPU, man, for now. Which is I don't know this this never happened in the in the history of emulation, bro. Let's check it out this one. Here we go. Even the cutscene is running amazing, bro. Let's go, guys. I will have to repeat that this is a 4x resolution test. <laughs> Epic. Hey, you schmitzi. Okay. So let's just for fun test how this one uh, all looks at on 1x resolution. I'll go here to settings, put everything at 1x, save and reboot. Let's go. Unbelievable speed here in the custom selection, bro. Just go, guys. Use your Snapdragon phone and check it out this game at this stage, especially. You will see how slow it is. Here with the Exynos phone, it's running really fast. There we go. Interesting, guys, which is very, very interesting. Uh, Snapdragon runs this game better. Somehow, the FPS, I can play this game 60 FPS with the Gen 2. With the Exynos, it doesn't reach 60 FPS, which is kind of very weird. I don't know what is happening. And make sure to go back and check out the difference of this resolution and 4X resolution. Do you see any difference? I might even do a comparison and be side by side of the resolution. Does it really upscale the resolution up? Uh, can you even see the difference going on a 6.7, 6.8 inch screen? Okay, well, let's go with one more game. Uncharted for the end. Check it out guys, we are in. I'm just shocked how smooth is uh, running this game in comparison to the I mean, similar chipsets like Snapdragon 888, Snapdragon 865. This one is just like two, three times more stable, better than those two chipsets, guys, which is crazy overall uh, with most of these games. That is nuts, man. Let's go. There we go. Okay, 
get kind of weird. <laughs> this game doesn't run. Okay. Let's see. Okay, now it's back. Now it's fine. What was that? I don't know what was that. What the heck? Okay. And now it's much much better. I don't know what was that. What the heck? Everything, nothing is fine. Beautiful, beautiful performance. Ah, now it's fine. I don't know what was that at the beginning. That was very weird. What a smooth gaming experience, bro. Oh, there was a lag there. The FPS drops guys, don't tell me the throttling is happening here, which is very weird, the previous games didn't throttle, and I tested them on higher resolution, <laughs> so it just makes no sense why this game is now laggy. <laughs> nice, very nice. Well guys, that should be it. Hope you enjoyed this uh, thorough review of the tw uh, Exynos 2100, which uh, uh, blown my mind away, to be honest. I didn't <laughs> expect this kind of performance, especially because I tested also for X resolution. Too easy. Two is indeed. Unbelievable how smooth it is. But it does have some lags. I don't know what was that. Now it's back to full speed, 30 FPS. Check it out. I mean, you can see by yourself. You don't even need to uh, look at the FPS counter. It's very smooth. Beautiful. What a great phone. I mean, what a great emulator. Uh, great phone also. S21 Ultra, 22 Ultra, and 23 Ultra. Amazing, amazing phones, to be honest, for the camera display and design. And yeah, have a nice day, guys. The buying links will be in the description for phones and gamepads. I don't share download links of the movies, games, etc. Don't ask me for that. Don't ask me for that. Thank you. Bye-bye.